I'm Beth and I'm going to be discussing the history of advertising and marketing used by Cadbury over the years. In 1824, John Cadbury opened a grocer's shop in Birmingham, however, it was not commercialised until 1831. To challenge the Swiss chocolate market, Cadbury produced some of the finest examples of posters and press advertisements during this period. A local artist, Cecil Alden, was commissioned to illustrate for Cadbury. His images featured in early magazine campaigns and gross poster sites all over the country. Here are some examples of his work. In 1905, the Cadbury logo was introduced, an image of cocoa tree interwoven with the Cadbury name. Used from 1911 to 1939 and sometime after the Second World War, until the glass and a harp symbol was used, which is what we know today, which shows the heritage which Cadbury possesses. In 1920, Cadbury chose to use purple as the colour for dairy milk, which is still used today and is trademarked. In recent years, the Britain's High Court has overturned Nestle's appeal ruling that Pantone 2685C purple is distinctive of Cadbury for milk, chocolate and are now the only company in the industry to use this particular shade of purple. Little money was put into advertising until 1928. This then continued to grow when Cadbury advertised on television for the first time in 1955. Cadbury's ad for drinking chocolate was one of the 24 that were shown on ITV's launch night. In 1970, many Cadbury brands such as Flakes saw vast increases in sales through the decade partially due to hugely successful and memorable TV advertising campaigns. In 2007, the well-known Gorilla ad proved hugely popular and cleaned up at awards ceremonies, winning many prizes including the prestigious Grand Prix Lion at Cannes in 2008. Thank you. Welcome. Today we'll be discussing the brand image and identity of the chocolate bar Cadbury's and its new product Marvelous Creations. Developing a unique image and brand name to a product is essential in order to attract potential consumers and allow the target audience to identify the product easily. The Cadbury's brand has proven itself to be a leader in a highly volatile and competitive market. It has successfully established, nurtured and developed its umbrella brand and grown portfolio of products. Cadbury's is well known for its recognisable shade of purple, which is called Pantone 2865C. The shade has been a trademark of the brand for over 100 years as a tribute to Queen Victoria. For many years, the brand had the colour painted, which allowed the company to easily be recognised by the public. However, in recent years, Cadbury's lost the right of this colour by its competitor Nestle. Although this was considered a drawback, the reputation of Cadbury's remains due to its long heritage and the colour is still related to the brand today. The extension brand of Cadbury's Marvelous Creations also uses the paint Pantone colour. However, the new product has integrated more joyful colours such as pink, red and green in order to increase the power and value of the product and to differentiate itself from the Wonka bar owned by Nestle. The company has worked with packaging design agency Bulletproof to create the new identity and packaging for Marvelous Creations. The reason for this decision was to create a total experience for consumers from first sight to last piece, combining unexpected ingredients and the classic Cadbury's dairy milk to shape a new format. For the launch, Bulletproof has considered all aspects of the brand and product, including branding, design and packaging. All of these elements have been aligned to create a clear concept and a carnival design direction, as you can see from our screen here. Cadbury's has tried to get out the cliché image that Cadbury's is just another chocolate. They have positioned themselves as a, as a chocolate for everyone and not just for children. Cadbury's has identified the brand values and adjusted its advertising strategies to reflect these values in different markets. 
The brand has invested around £7 million on the launch of an advertising campaign for Cadbury's Marvelous Creations in 2013 in order to increase its brand awareness. The new campaign will feature in TV, press and outdoor advertising. This will allow the company to reach a wide audience but also maintain its loyal consumers and its target audience. Overall, the product has proven to be a success and its campaign has allowed the company to create brand awareness and establish its brand image more effectively. So thank you guys. You done? Hello, my name is Mathilde Pitaira and I'll be covering Casper's promotional activities from Lisbon, Portugal. The UK is a nation of chocoholics, forming per capita the biggest chocolate market in the world. 2013 was a big year for Cadbury's, with the launch of the Marvelous Creations and its first Christmas TV advert for Dairy Milk. It comes as a little surprise that its 2013 ad spend shot up by 29% to £14.3 million. Pounds. The, TV, the TV campaign is part of a £7 million pounds UK total marketing investment for Cadbury's, which will also include press and outdoor advertising, PR, sampling, social media and in-store activities throughout the year. All of these to promote the Marvelous Creations. The advert, which launches on the 11th of May for six weeks, will be aired alongside popular programs such as Britain's Got Talent, Celebrity Juice and the British Soap Awards Party. The advertising was complemented by social media, as I mentioned before, including Twitter competitions to win the new, the new products, prompting online discussions around Marvel's creations, and especially in the week after the ads were begun. Inspired by the wonder of a fun fair, the new Casper's Diary Milk Marvel's Creation advert transports the viewer to a chocolate factory where the bar is created. A giant 3D chocolate bar that looks good enough to eat brought a touch of the marvellous to the UK street during the advertising as well. Casper's Iron Milk advertising spent behind Marvel's creations was focused on the new line only, pushing awareness among customers. Casper's were touring the UK visiting a number of cities with marvellous games and offering consumers the chance to trial the new and exciting product range and to create a different relation with customers trying to engage them to try these new marvellous creations. The campaign ended up being a success and they, the Casbury still added a few new flavours to the marvellous creations. That is all for promotional activities. Thank you. Welcome to Essex. Here we'll be discussing the consumer behaviour for the chocolate confectionery industry, as well as the target audience for Cadbury's Marvellous Creations range. Now chocolate is a household favourite, but do we really indulge in it? Despite chocolate being seen as an affordable treat, its daily usage is predominantly amongst the AB type. Those with a household income of over £50,000, and those who describe their finances as healthy. It was found that only 27% of chocolate users would keep buying their favourite chocolate if prices rose, with 54% expecting to cut back. It is without any surprise that 16 to 34 year olds are significantly more likely than the older age group to consume chocolate at least once a day. This shows that young consumers focus less on health and have a higher overall frequency of snacking. During the period of 2013 to 2018, there is expected to be a growth of 0.8% in this group which will help to support the usage of chocolate. However, this growth is significantly smaller than the 4.7% growth that was seen on the period of 2018 to 2013. It was found in a recent report that women are more likely to eat flavoured block chocolate, whilst men are more likely to eat plain block chocolate. For Cadbury's Marvellous Creations, we can define the target audience through both demographics and psychographics. The demographics of Marvellous Creations are as follows. They will be women, as we found this out earlier in the report, that they prefer flavoured block chocolate, which is what Marvelous Creations is. They will be aged between 25 and 39, and they work in wholesale or retail and have a disposable income of less than £125. The psychographics can be looked at through the lifestyle and personality of the audience. Marvelous Creations' target audience lifestyle includes eating chocolate cake, enjoying swimming and shopping, socialising and keeping up to date about celebrity lifestyles. They have a motherly personality, but are quite accident prone. 
They would describe themselves as the following. I often treat myself to food that isn't good for me. I couldn't get through the day without mobile communication. I rely on TV to keep me informed and I often snack between meals. Now let's have a quick look at their favourite things. So their favourite brands include Dorothy Perkins, Cadbury, Tesco and Vauxhall. Their favourite movies are Frozen, Happy Feet, Grease and Hocus Pocus. Their favourite TV shows are I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, Britain's Got Talent, The X Factor, The Great British Bake Off and Friends. Their favourite ma- music artists include Take That, Ed Sheeran, Cheryl Cole, Michael Jackson and McFly. And lastly, their favourite celebrities include Simon Cowell, Philip Schofield, Jonathan Ross and Adam Sandler. We can also look at their social media usage. Their top websites to visit are Andrex, E-Rewards, Cadbury's and My Cruise Views. Their top Twitter followers include Katie Price, The Apprentice, Gary Barlow, Victoria Beckham, Claudia Winkleman and Cadbury's. Now their top Facebook pages include Cadbury's again, I'm a Celebrity, Coca-Cola, Dorothy Perkins. And their top mobile applications are Candy Crush, Bejeweled, Bump, Paper Toss and Flappy Bird. They like their games. They are online for 26 to 30 hours per week. They watch TV for about 1 to 5 hours per week. And finally, they read The Sun and Closer. By better, by better understanding the consumer behaviour of the chocolate confectionery industry and Cadbury's target audience, we can understand how to appeal to this particular audience through campaigns and promotions. Enjoy my marvellous creation chocolate. Good morning, I'm Hannah Williams reporting live from Suffolk. Today I'll be talking to you about Cadbury's Marvellous Creations main competitors. I will then pass you over to Poppy Wilson who will speak to you about their promotional activities. Some of Cadbury's main competitors are Lynn, Hotel Chocolate, Thorntons, Nestle and Mars. Marvellous Creations is an above average to premium brand. This is due to being part of Cadbury's and having a high selling price per 200 grams. This price would be £2.50. Other high priced and premium brands that are seen as competitors are Hotel Chocolate with their chocolate slab which would be £7.50 per 200g and Thornton's Chocolate which is £5 per 200g. Other competitors with a much lower price would be Nestle's Milky Bar which is seen as £1.90 per 200g. One of Marvellous Creation's main competitors was the Wonka Bar by Nestle in 2010, although this has now been discontinued. A reason why this was one of Marvellous Creation's main competitors was due to its unique, exciting flavours and packaging, which had not been seen before. Some of the people that bought this product were C2DE women aged between 18 and 39. This was the highest percentage for both Marvellous Creation's and the Wonka Bar. The Wonka Bar was priced around £3 per 200 grams and Marvellous Creations around £2.50 per 200 grams. They were both sold in supermarkets, confectionery stores and online, although now Wonka Bar is not about. The Wonka Bar stemmed from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory which was created in 1971 and remade in 2005. A retro Wonka Bar was released which would cost £5 in confectionery stores and was not sold in supermarkets but this has now also been discontinued. One advantage for Cadbury's Marvellous Creations was that it lasted longer than the Wonka Bar Therefore, it was able to sponsor ITV's Let Me Entertain You on a Saturday night. The reason brands such as Mars and Nestle, although being a lot cheaper than Cadbury's, is seen as a competitor, is due to it also being a global, well-known brand. I'll now pass over to Poppy, who will explain the promotional activities of some of the competitors I've covered today. This will give a more in-depth explanation as to why they are Cadbury's main competitors. Today we're going to be discussing Cadbury's, their competitors and promotional activity. Firstly we're going to be discussing the Mars Bar. The Mars Bar was traditionally promoted as an energy giving male snack. In reality 40% of consumers were in fact female, um, the majority of which were also aged over 25. Therefore Mars realised that something needed to change. They changed their recipe, their advertising and their packaging. Today we're going to be focusing on the packaging and advertising. The packaging became more eye-catching as well as friendly and classy. The advertising message also changed to pleasure you can't measure, which reflects the indescribable great taste and the everyday enjoyment that consumers get from the Mars bar. The advertising also focused on younger audience. 
For example, they had the instant win and redeem promotion, where packs were marked with an unmissable 1 in 6 flash. This meant that 1 in 6 packs contained a promotional statement and barcode whereby consumers could then redeem one free chocolate bar across any of lines of promotion. This exciting campaign was a first for the Mars Chocolate in the UK. It was supported by £1 million media spend, which included brand new TV advertising, PR and promotional in point of sale or in-store awareness to drive sales. The next chocolate bar we're going to be discussing is Lynn. Lint theme their chocolates according to the season. For example, we're going to be focusing on the famous Lint Golden Bunny, which consumers are enticed to buy over that time of year. Each year, the Lint Golden Bunny has a promotional code inside, which can be entered into their website. The consumer with the winning code wins a £10,000 holiday. This is more of an exclusive prize in comparison to Mars Bar, which connotes the um, exclusivity of the Lint Chocolate Bar itself. Furthermore, the website is interactive, which helps target towards the younger audience. There is a Find a Bunny event near you, where consumers can put in their postcode and then find an event near them, which would be an Easter egg hunt this year. Furthermore, we're going to be discussing Nestle. Kit Kat, York and Aero have launched promotional first with the We Will Find You campaign, whereby um, 10 packs have a GPS signal in them, which consumers can pull the tab and then will be located by the team who will locate them within 24 hours and hand over a cheque for £10,000. This was sort of a Willy Wonka themed promotion. However, it did receive backlash. Some news stories um, didn't like the idea of being tracked and here were just some headlines from the news when this first became a promotional campaign. Nestle plants GPS trackers in chocolate bars and threatens to find their consumers. The We Will Find You campaign is marketing gone wild and Kit Kat firm Nestle hides GPS chips in six bars to stalk consumers. So Thornton's, however, are um, quite similar to Lynn. They have increasingly high brand recall and positive customer service reviews, with 89% of customer service reviews being four or five star. In the investors' um, yearly report, they do focus on this, alongside winning awards for their chocolate making skills and their new product lines as a main, to, main promotional activity in order to entice new customers. This is what they focus on when promoting throughout the year. So they focus on the key times of year, which is also similar to Lynn, such as Easter and Christmas. When using social media, they promote at this time of year as well. So we looked at their Twitter, where they have different deals for consumers. For example, this year they done if, they, if a consumer spends over £10 online, they can enter coins at the checkout and they get a free bag of golden coin, milk chocolate coins. So therefore, they use the social media, um, but not primarily to promote, they just do it at the main times of year. So those are Cadbury's competitors.